Hello YouTubers, this is Lights. I want to show you a couple of uh, radio buttons that I made for Aeon MQ7. Show you what they look like here. If you go into Cody, add-ons, then the skin folder, and then in media, I made a custom folder. You can call it whatever you want. I just put those radio button images in there that I made. These are the same uh, names of the files that come with MQ7 on the radio buttons. I'll open one up and show you. So I just made one off, one on. They are, uh, see down here, they're 210 by 61 on the dimensions. Uh, you can make them about that size. The original ones were a little different size, but I'll show you on the file you're going to edit that as long as you stay within the original dimensions on when you scale the image you'll be fine so this is the file you're going to edit under 1080i the defaults .xml and what you're looking for are these two lines here that have the image file the radio button on and the radio button .png files. So whatever folder name you give it, just put that in front of it, custom, and then slash the PNG file. And this is the uh, the scaled image size, the width 116, the height's 98. So when I scaled mine down, it was like 116 by 34. So as long as you're under that on the height, like mine was, it'll display just fine so let me show you what it looks like now in Cody okay so go into your skin settings There's an example of the new radio button I made. I'll show you an example of both. There's on the holiday settings you see some are turned on, some are turned off. So if you find some radio buttons that you like and you want to use in place of the original MQ7, that's how you change them to make some custom radio images. Alright, thanks for watching. Comment or uh, questions below. I'll post a link again to the Cody forms on this with the uh, instructions. It's pretty simple. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care.